In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the outside rear view mirror on this Ford Explorer. Let's get into it. We're gonna take this panel off. Just use a pick or a screwdriver. Get behind here. And just pop this cover off. like that. It's just clipped in on the back. Down here, we're gonna take this cover off. Just use a pick, just in the corner. Pop that out like that. Now remove that screw. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that screw out. Down below here, there's two screws in there. Take those out. Same 10 millimeter socket. And just use a magnet if you need to. Underneath, you're gonna use a seven millimeter socket. Take the two screws off underneath. Remove this piece. You're just gonna use a trim tool. Just get behind it. It is just clipped in. Underneath the bottom. It's just clipped in on the back side. Pop that off. Then I'm going to take a trim tool, and around the perimeter of the door is some push pins. So you want to pop those out. Grab the door panel, slide up and slide it out. We're gonna disconnect this cable right here. Just take some needle nose pliers. You just wanna squeeze where the cable is, where the two tabs are. Slide that out and slide the little retainer on the end off. You wanna disconnect the electrical connectors. Just push down on the tabs, slide those off. And same with down below and right here. And you can slide the door panel aside. The only reason you would remove the door panel is to access this nut right here. If you can do that without taking the door panel off, go ahead, but it's not that easy to get to that. So now we're gonna disconnect the connector, push it down on the tab. Slide that connector out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take this nut and this nut out, and then also this 10 millimeter bolt right here. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. When you go to take the last one off, make sure you support the mirror. And just grab the mirror. There is a little clip holding it in. And pull it out. It's just clipped in right there. You just kind of have to manipulate it so that you can slide it out of the slot. Now take the mirror. You want to slide it in position. Once you get the nut started, you can let go of the mirror. It's not going to fall. Put the other nut on and the other bolt. Get those all started. Then I'm gonna hold the mirror in and just tighten it down. Just snug those down. And 
and plug it in. Now we can connect all the connectors for the door panel, connect the window switch, these other connectors, lock those in place. And the cable, you want to slide this end into the handle, just like that, and then twist it to the side. And then lock it in place. Now the top part of the panel is going to go into that groove. Make sure you take the lock rod and it's going to go through the hole in the door. up through there. That's good. Then you have all the push pins. Get those all lined up. And then just tap the door in place. That's good. All the way around. Now underneath, start these screws. Get those lined up and tighten them down. Now get these screws started. And before I tighten those down, we'll just get this one started as well. and tighten them down. Just snug. Now put this cover on, lock it down. And we have this cover up here. This is gonna go like this. And this cover right here, just clip it in, line it up, push it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.